Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have an unboxing and review for you the Zitali uh, smart speakers powered by Android. Uh, basically, what this is, is a nice pair of a uh, stereo speaker that has an Android tablet stick right in the middle of it. This is running Android 4.4 KitKat. So you get your typical Android experience, everything including a camera, you have wireless, all that stuff, and the speakers on the side here. A powerful hi fi sound, Android touch interface, internet and music videos. You get app from the Google Play and it's portable and rechargeable. So in here we have the uh, speaker cell here, so you can see here, come all wrapped in this nice soft foam for protection. And here's the unit, it's quite big. Inside the unit, also we have a back of a menu and accessory here, look like we have a power cable, and we also have a micro USB cable along with a little remote control. So this is the remote control here as you can see, power button, look like the mute button right here, menu, Bluetooth, your navigation d-pad here with the OK button in the middle, volume up and down, back forward, and then you have your multimeter key here. Kind of remind me of uh, these small uh, Android um, control and also kind of look like an Apple control, but you know, this one is a lot bigger with more buttons. Here is the small little user menu, the Zitali Avi ZA-47, that's the model number here. And uh, this is a color menu, has some instructions showing you how to use the whole product. Very nice. A little power supply, got a little cable here, probably around 5 feet long. And then here's the micro USB cable. So here you can see is the speaker unit itself. It's quite large. You have your speaker up here and you have look like a base port. And there's one on each side here. Up top here we have some uh, button. We have the power button, volume up and down. And there's a place here you can grab it by. In the back here we have the company logo, Zatilly. The bottom here we have the 12 volt power input, line out, HDMI out, a USB, we have micro SD card and then we have a reset button. Take roughly about 30 seconds to boot up this little guy. The screen does have some light leak as you can see here in the dark spot you can definitely see the light leak but in general purpose users. But in general I didn't have this problem at all when you're just using it normally, it's not a big deal at all. So the right way you can see even with the screen on it's still uh, there's a lot of reflection so your screen is really glossy it's not a matte screen. Go ahead and select English here through the setup process. So here we can see uh, pick the wireless setting. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my wireless just like your typical Android setup. On a full charge unplug you can probably get about three and a half hour on screen time with this guy. Maybe up to four hour depend. But uh, that's you basically max out at that point. And uh, if you leave it on standby mode, I found out that after about one day on standby mode, the battery just die. So uh, that's what happened. I always use it uh, remotely, never plug it in, and I just let it die. <laughs> it just happened all the time. So if you're gonna use this unit as a real uh, speaker, and you're gonna leave it in one spot, plug it in, and you should be fine. So I've been playing with this for roughly about two weeks now and uh, so far I do want to point out a few things that I noticed with this unit. These are pretty good speakers, they sound pretty loud. There's a decent amount of bass but not a lot uh, and uh, if you turn them all the way up uh, it does uh, sound pretty good without being distorted. So uh, listen, right now the unit is off. This is one of the con I want to point out right away. Currently it's in standby mode. Ignore the uh, insect noise outside but listen to that little buzzing noise. You hear that? Look like the battery's being charged or something. Uh, something's going on in the back, but that's the noise it made. However, as soon as you get it out of standby mode, that noise went away. So anyway, let's get into the unit. Here is the default launcher. Uh, you have a pretty standard light launcher, nothing crazy, so the skin is really uh, easy. You just have over here, you got your icon here, which will launch some of the app. So you got here, you know, your Chrome and your Gmail, etc. And you have this button here, which give you all your app. You can see the uh, it's pretty fluid. So far, I use it a lot for mostly uh, listening to music. I have iHeartRadio, Pandora in here. I also have Google Photo, and down here I have some Vietnamese music that I can use. And then uh, you know I have my camera system over here, which is also works fine. Uh, so just come with Google Play, uh, and it works perfectly fine. You got your Google Store. You can download whatever you want. Here's YouTube, for example. Kind of give you an idea how fast it's launch. It's quite fast. Uh, not the fastest process out there, but so far I'm pretty well pleased with it. So you can see here, there's one thing I do notice that the bezel of the screen here kind of cut up maybe a millimeter off of the screen. So there's actually some of the elements are being hidden behind the screen. Uh, so I hope they do a better job with the update version. And you can see here, here are some of my videos. Uh, we can just click on it one real quick here. So up top here you have this volume button. I can just adjust. Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I got a quick review for you. Use uh, a uh, monopod selfie sticks. 
So one thing I noticed when this device is that this screen is a 1024 by 600 for viewing videos and watching um, little small movie clips here and there. It works quite well. The resolution is not that bad. The viewing angle is decently okay. Um, if you turn it about this much, you can see you kind of lose some light uh, up and down, kind of the same. But other than that, it, uh, you know, as a device here, it works pretty good. Uh, one thing I do notice that because of this resolution, for example, if I try to play a 4K video, uh, and YouTube, it won't even let, give me that option. So I think YouTube is detecting that I don't have a screen resolution that high. So uh, the max I can do on this guy is 720p. So that kind of gives you an idea. So in the positive note is that, you know, all your video will load a little bit faster instead of 1080p because the screen is not being that big to support that kind of nice resolution. So, and you can see here, this is what it's look like. And I'm going to play this video right now, kind of give you an idea of the volume. Your tripod lamp. As you can see here, look really nice. I'm going to get closer here. Uh, these things are made out of little soft little plastic and uh, paper. Uh, you can hear, sound really clean and really nice. So I'm going to play some music, kind of give you an idea of what these, these speakers sound like. So here I have Google Music up with some test song. Here we go. <laughs> Kind of give you an idea. It does get quite loud and uh, it's kind of a little bit late at night so I don't want to turn up too loud but it does get quite loud. To me, the unit is an angle, it's just exact angle, and there's no way you can change this. So definitely, this unit is good at uh, basically eye level. So if you have it too low, you end up have to tilt it over to kind of get a straight look at it. So if you have it up a little bit higher at eye level, it's going to work out really well for you. The speaker sounds really good, and uh, to me, they, they don't have any distortion or crackle, which uh, is quite nice. So this unit is basically a full capable Android tablet with two really nice speakers. You even have a little camera here and the camera resolution is uh, kind of crap. It's like VGA camera is really bad. It's not even that good. But there's a camera though so if you want to make a Skype call you can also do that. Uh, so far the unit is being pretty snappy. I have it for over two weeks now and I've been using it uh, roughly to watch video, basically media consumption, uh, music, those kind of things. I did try to play some game on here, but then I found out that this new unit does not have the built-in accelerometer, and a lot of mobile games do have those, uh, you know, accelerometer, and uh, so without that element, some game will not play on here. But if you just have, you know, Angry Bird or any, you know, Candy Crush, those kind of games, you can play perfectly on here with no problem. So in the back of this unit, you can see here you have all those port, uh, you have HDMI, which you can now put to the TV. You have this USB port here. You can use this as the OTG port. Uh, this cannot charge the unit, so you do have to use uh, the DC port here. I thought originally it could, but it's not strong enough, so you have to use that port. You have micro SDs. You can expand that 8 gigabyte to even more if you wanted to, and then there's the reset button. At the bottom here of the unit, there is a little small hole here. This is the microphone, and that is used to uh, record, you know, you're talking, whatever, in Skype or hanging out, whatever you want to use it for. Uh, that is not the latch to release this plate, so I thought it was something underneath here. It looked like you can remove this, maybe the battery's underneath here. I kind of tried to mess around with it, but I didn't take it out. I just was pushing on this and I realized it was a microphone, so don't do that. Uh, I did ask the company a few things. First of all, the speakers, that little noise that uh, come out when it's uh, making that sizzling noise. I uh, asked them, they say they will update this unit with a new version, and that new version will eliminate that noise. They did acknowledge that's a problem. Uh, there's no firmware or anything to fix it. It's a physical hardware problem, I believe. So the other thing I asked them is whether this unit will get updated with Lollipop. And they say yes, they are working on a firmware 5.1 uh, Lollipop to uh, get you a uh, Lollipop in this device. So I guess I have to wait for that. Uh, the new unit, they didn't tell me it's going to ship with Lollipop or uh, KitKat. I'm not sure. But uh, that new unit will come out, I think, in a few months. And it will have all the improvement that they found with this unit. Other than the noise that it's making when it's in standby, the unit works pretty good. Battery life could be a little bit better in this unit, but then again, it's a speaker that you can plug in and be in one place. It's not really a thin device that you want to carry around with you all the time anyway. I hope your short little review helped you in your purchase decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.